Jeff, Jeff, great news. Oh, what's going on? I managed to score the new Regis Philbin autobiography. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> what the hell was that, man? Hell? What the hell? <laughs> like, even at home, people are going, well, that audience is pretty quiet. Yeah, man. He just said he got the new Regis Philbin autobiography. It's one of and the great, like, one of the great hosts of our time. One of the great TV legends. He was on the Joey Bishop show. Joey for Bishop. Out. What's on? wrong let's, with you? Let's try it again. All right. All right. All right, Jeff. Jeff, stay still. All right. All right. <laughs> Jeff, great news! I managed to score the new Regis Philbin autobiography. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And it's, it looks great. It's called How I Got This Way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we should do is we should c call Regis and uh, ask him on the show. Oh, that would be great. Right, hold on a second. I'll get the phone. All right. Uh, you entertain the folks at home with some musical thing. Sure, but sure. Make sure it's out of copyright. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I'm back. All right. <laughs> you you do it. I'm too shy. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, no, I tell you what, I'll you're do gonna, it. You're going to talk. You to stand me. there and don't say I'll anything. I'll stand there and I won't say anything. All right, All right. then. I'll uh, I'll shut down while you're on the phone. <laughs> hello. Yeah, hello. It's Regis. Hi, Regis. All right. Yeah, hold on. This is great. Excuse me. Sorry, Regis, they always make a huge noise whenever your name is mentioned. You know, that's wonderful, Craig, and I was wondering if you got a new copy of my book. I did. It looks great. It's called How I've Got This Way, and it shows you making a gesture like you've got a really big, you know, penis. You're out of control. That's crazy. You're insane. So anyway, Regis, I would like to invite you on the show. All right, I can certainly uh, clear up my schedule. You want me to come on uh, when, right now? No, 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 no. I'd like you to get here sometime in May. In May? All right, well, yeah. I can certainly do that. I can certainly What about do that. May the 19th, a couple of days after my May birthday? May the 19th, that sounds great. Yeah, yeah, a couple of days after my... Sorry, I keep looking at the robot. I forget, he turned off. Oh, no, he's moving. Hey, by the hey. way, will my, will my best friend in the world, Jeff Peterson, be there? Because he's my favorite friend. That robot man, he's funny. He's zany, he's out of control. That woke you up, didn't it? Yeah, what the hell was yeah. that? So anyway, look, Regis uh, will be here on uh, Tuesday, March the 18th. Monday, March the... No, that, that's today. <laughs> Monday, May the 19th. May the 19th. That's, that's after your birthday, which is yeah, on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday's after my birthday. So if you want to get me anything, my birthday's on the 17th. <laughs> and CBS, I know you're planning on getting me a car. Okay. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. All right, bye-bye. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> we were right back with tonight's show. Sponsored by the all-new 2015 Ford Mustang. Tell us what you do in a Mustang. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Thank you, everyone. 
Thank you. That orgasmic ball of organic energy really made me squeal. <laughs> yeah, that was... Do you hear that? Really intense. Unbelievable. Really intense. Yeah, I... See, before I came out, I was listening to the warm-up comedian. Now, we call him a warm-up comedian, don't we, Jeff? He's not really He's a, not really not a really comedian, comedian. <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> and he said to the audience, he said, give me, give, give me an orgasmic ball of organic energy. Make him squeal. <laughs> I'm like, what am I, a pig? <laughs> Yeah, I'll put an apple in your hey. mouth. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Thanks. A scary, a scary day for Miley Cyrus. Do you enjoy Miley, Jeff? I enjoy Miley, sure. Right. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Her tour bus caught on fire. I didn't know she was on tour, but she's on tour, and her tour bus caught fire. Luckily, no one was hurt. Everyone in the bus followed the safety protocol. Stop, drop, and twerk. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, do it with me. Stop, drop, and twerk. And twerk. <laughs> There's a fire. Quick, get out the bus. Where? <laughs> Where? <Well, well. laughs> Not a great day for the president of Colombia. In the middle of a speech, he wet his pants. <laughs> I know. Oh. I was, I was like, I watched the footage of it, and I was going to show it here, and I thought, no. This makes me sad. I mean, I thought our president was having trouble with leaks, but oh my God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> also not a great day for lovable actor Russell Crowe. He was snubbed. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that was good, yeah. Uh, Guess. He was snubbed. <laughs> he wasn't snubbed by anybody, though. He was snubbed by the Pope. <laughs> well, that was a long time me doing stuff. Yeah, it was, that, it was. Yeah. Today, Russell Crowe and the director of the movie uh, Noah went all the way to Italy for a meeting with the Pope, but the Pope cancelled with the last minute. Yeah, the last minute. I guess he was poped out. Anyway, the filmmaker... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a poped out. Oh, he's not Italian now. He's... Uh, yeah, no, he's... He's... Uh, Argen Argen he's Argentinian. Argentinian. Yeah, Argentinian. Sure, sure he is. Yeah. I'm a sorry, I'm a... I don't know, I can't it's do it. It's not the same. It's fine. It's the same. Go I'm not always tired, but when I am, I'm poped out. <laughs> Anyway, the filmmakers were hoping that Pope Francis would watch the Noah movie, but it must be very frustrating. I mean, for the people in the theater, can you imagine sitting behind the Pope with his big giant hat on? <laughs> I know you come in, you as the Pope, you come in. I want to see the movie, take off the big hat. <laughs> That's the Italian guy it's in the movie. It's an Italian yeah. Yeah. patron, yes, right. <laughs> to be fair, Pope Francis goes to the movies, where he does, he just wears his little hat. <laughs> He's got a smaller one. This guy, he's got the little hat for right, the movies. He Jeff, I've got a great idea. Let's play Name the Pope's Favorite Movie. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've got one. Uh, two Francis, Two Furious. Well, that's good, that's good. Uh, Holy Ghostbusters. <laughs> Dude, where's my cardinal? That's good, that's good, yeah. Oh, uh, Sistine Candles. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, uh... A man in black. That's good, that's good. Live and let diocese. A pew good man. That's good. Uh, how to train your deacon. <laughs> My big fat Greek schism. You're welcome, five people. Yeah. yeah. Like someone's writing away at their in their monastery, they watching TV, and suddenly went, oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway. The movie. <laughs> The movie Noah is an adaptation of the, uh, from the Bible, of course. For you young people, the Bible's like a long, papery tweet from God. And my... <laughs> my favorite story in the Bible is uh, David and Goliath. You know, it showed that something small can defeat something large. Unless you're the Ukraine, then you're screwed. But the story... <laughs> 
<laughs> in the story of the ark, Noah repopulates the world with two of every beast. You know, you get your two elephants, two, two tigers, two giraffes, two Kardashians. You get them all in there. <laughs> And Russell Crowe is a great choice to play Noah, because he's Australian, so he knows not to put dingoes on the boat next to the babies. <laughs> so, sorry, dingoes, I'm going to have to put you in steerage uh, with the unicorns. <laughs> now, you wouldn't eat them, would you, little dingoes? Row. <laughs> yeah, there, that was the scene from the movie yeah, right there. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Didn't Russell Crowe sing in his last I wish. I hope Noah's a musical. Rain a lot from the sky. <laughs> Jeff. A ark, a boat that saves my ass. <laughs> I mean, getting two of every animal onto the ark must be very difficult. I could barely have two small humans into a car to get them to go to dinner. <laughs> and, then, and then there's my kids. <laughs> That's right, I kidnap little people and I make them dine with me. <laughs> Oh, please, not spaghetti again. Yes, spaghetti again! <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, so I'm going to stop. No, it's good. You're having no, fun. No, no, I'm going to stop. No, I've lost, I've right. lost the notion. I understand. No, they, this audience, they, they didn't make me squeal. No, no. <laughs> hey, 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 don't do yourself at me. I don't even know where you're going with that. <laughs> You know, it's, if it's, how come if it's officially, you know, springtime and the clock's changed, it's still winter behind you? <laughs> That's not snow, it's cocaine? That's a lot of cocaine. That's a lot of That's cocaine. That's a lot of cocaine. Uh, you want to, uh... Yeah, sure. All right. Tonight's program is brought to you by two more of the Pope's favorite movies, The Fast and the Pharisees and G.I. Jehovah. <laughs> show where tonight we're focusing on sadomasochism. <laughs> is it really that much fun, Jeff? You bet it is. <laughs> Have you ever done it? I've never really been oh, into it. Oh, come on, man. Don't pretend like an hour before the show, you and I were not engaged in that activity. <laughs> <laughs> Safety words, banana. <laughs> not anymore. Apparently. <laughs> All right, uh, Jeff, what time is it? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who once built an ark in his bathtub for his ferrets. <laughs> Remember, you did that. You told me about that. That was in confidence. I understand. <laughs> What's the safety word? Ferret. <laughs> Play the jingle. My name is Scooter, I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than my Gandhi. And email. And your email. All right. Uh, this is from Heidi in Concord, New Hampshire. I'm going there next week. Concord, yeah. I'm going there to Concord, New Hampshire. I'm going to do my thing there. You're going to do your thing. Yeah, and then I'm going to be performing on stage. <laughs> I see what you did there. You turned it around. I yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, all right. I understand. I'm sorry. All right, so uh, Heidi says, uh, Craig, I'm so excited to see you're in Concord, New Hampshire. She knows I'm coming. Yeah, clearly, yes. Jeff better be there. He's sexy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> well, he's not coming. <laughs> No, due to a scheduling conflict, you're not joining the tour until Ottawa, No, right? no, I'm going to be with, uh, with Regis at that time. <laughs> Is Regis going to Concord? Yeah, no, no, he's not. He's, he's not going to Concord me. because he's, be he's not big enough to play Concord. <laughs> oh, now you're taking on a, a on a Monday on night. What? Maybe he should come on, you know, in a couple of months to defend himself for that kind of crap. 
Sure. Uh, this is from Michael in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, well, you know what the rules are, Jeff. Speak like an Australian. <laughs> all right. Let's begin. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Greg, we don't see that long, slow picture of you and your ferrets anymore. <laughs> well, I suppose we could give it a little pucker dicky. Yeah, a little, a little jiggery do. Yeah, a little, <laughs> little cooker birdie. A little diggery doopy. Give it a play then. <laughs> Welcome back, Australians. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> this is uh, from Sue in Halifax, Nova Scotia. You ever been there? Halifax, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, lots of times. Oh, yeah. Where is it then? It's, it's up above the, the bigger one. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Uh, this is from Mika in Portland, Oregon. You ever been there? I have. We uh, we were there together. Remember, we did that thing. What was that thing we did again? Yeah, we, uh, we braided our armpit hair. That was braided awesome. our armpit. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, uh, Mika says, "Dear Craig and Jeff, what is the strangest food you ever ate?" Ooh, ooh, Jeff, what was yours? Uh, ooh, 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 Craig, what was yours? Uh, ca kangaroo. Kangaroo. Yes, I had braised kangaroo when I was in the outback. Not the, not the steakhouse, no, the actual the outback. <laughs> I mean, no disrespect to the outback. They don't serve kangaroo. <laughs> no, of course they don't. <laughs> they don't. No, they, they don't. They, they don't. don't. <laughs> what's, uh, you, well, what's the strangest You know, thing? I had a braised uh, ferret. That was once, one time. <laughs> do you know what they do in certain countries in South America? They eat guinea pigs. That's true. And they eat them with their little claws like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly, studio audience. It does sound delicious, doesn't it? I don't know if that was an ooh or a oh, or like that. It like, like, if you were, like you were warning them that you were going to do that to their guinea pigs. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat your guinea pig. You wouldn't. Is that code for that sex code? Thing? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> So, yeah, mm hmm and uh, boiled swan. Oh, yeah, boiled swan. I've never eaten that. Very good. That is, that is also a sex you know, thing. You know that, no, it's not. Yeah. But you know, is it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Put these handcuffs on and boil my swan. <laughs> you know that the swan in, in, in uh, Britain, the only person that's allowed legally to eat swan is the queen. Oh, is that right? Yeah, she's allowed to eat swan. That's why she's so fit. Yeah. <laughs> And no one else is allowed to eat swan. If you get caught eating swan, the queen is like, are you eating my swan? <laughs> <laughs> so the queen will accost you on the street and say, that's my swan. <laughs> that's my swan is the most popular reality show on British television. That's right. <laughs> and what it is, it's like, here's the thing about British TV presenters. It's amazing. If you ever go to Britain or Google anyone in Britain that talks on TV, they always talk, the presenters always talk like this. They go, they start the sentence like this and they end the sentence like this. <laughs> they begin to talk like this and then they drop it down like this at the end. <laughs> They're talking to you and then they finish the sentence. <laughs> Jeff, am I right in what I'm saying? Sometimes I like to go home and boil my swan. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, good night. Oh, no, we've got guests. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> We're right back, everybody. We're right back.
<laughs> Sorry, everyone. I was trying to dance to the end so I, you wouldn't know that I was having a candy. <laughs> And then I realized it was a boiled candy, much like a boiled swan in candy form. Yeah. And I realized I would have to dance for about half an hour, so I've just tucked it down the side of my teeth. <laughs> Which, weirdly enough, is how you perform a boiled swan. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no, no. I, I don't, I, that's not true. <laughs> My first guest tonight, his latest co uh, comedy special is called Lewis Black, Old Yeller, Live at the Borgata. That's a clue to who he is. <laughs> it premieres May the 2nd on Epics. Please welcome the adorable, sensational Lewis Black, everybody. Lewis Black. Buddy. I uh, I didn't want to come out here because the the two makeup artists you have the the, the two who are dancing mm. that's the hottest makeup room in America. Yes, it is. Yes, why it is. I would want to sit here with you <laughs> when they would make me up. Not that I don't like you. And I love chatting with you. Oh, sure. But I wanted, you know, I'm sitting here going, would you, would you just give a little dusting to my chest? <laughs> They're, it's extraordinary. Why does, I, I, I want to live here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that position is taken. <laughs> hey, uh, you, have you ever heard of a boiled swan? Uh, I, <laughs> I tell you why I ask, because you've been to Britain a lot, right? I've been to Britain. You go to Britain all the time. In fact, many people don't know you are from Britain. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. I made that up, but you Would know. You? No. Do I look like Burberry? No, no. not really. No. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I, the, 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 you did the special at the Borgata? I did it at the Borgata. That's good. I played there before. You worked there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I, I think the last time I played there, I had to drive through a snowstorm or something. Again. Probably. That's all it's done there. Yeah, that's yeah. That's all yeah. we have now. That's all the East Coast is, is snow. It's, it's been a lot of it. No, year. it's been the worst winter I've ever seen. I mean, seriously. No, I am serious. I know you're serious, but you're implying it's my fault. It is. And that's, that's what... It is. It's not my fault. Yes, it is. <laughs> I have to blame it on someone. Well, okay, it's my... And... I'm terribly sorry, the East Coast of the United States. I, I just used my weather powers for evil this year. <laughs> but I, I will let you know that they're... Um, that uh, the entire East and Midwest, having gone through this period of time and having seen the weather here, uh, we have amassed our National Guard and we will be invading you. <laughs> and you will be kicked out of here. Uh, you will have to go somewhere else, like maybe Des Moines. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck with your new relocation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They I, can stay. I, I, the makeup uh, The makeup stay. girls, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you in therapy? <laughs> yeah. Are you really? Of course. Yeah, yeah, you, I have you, to be. Or you are. Yeah, well, yeah, for sure. You yeah. have to be. Yeah, yeah, I have to be anyway. Oh, my God. Yeah. Every yeah. night after night of this, you have to be. <laughs> no, this, this is kind of my therapy. <laughs> I would be terrible if I didn't have this. I mean, I know I'm terrible during this, but I'm also... <laughs> but then you have to go to somebody to talk about... Yeah, well, about... well that's the thing. You're a stand-up comedian of a great success, so you're clearly, you know, troubled and insane, probably. <laughs> I have, uh, some problems. <laughs> you want to talk about them? Come on, man. Let's talk about your dreams. What kind of dreams do you have? Oh, you, you're going to be Freudian? F Freud, Freud's full of it. <laughs> Freud, Freud basically, oh, uh, you know, it's all got to do with sex. Well, the guy was doing tons of cocaine. So what else would it have to do with? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's your penis. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're saying that the father of psychoanalysis was a cocaine addict that was obsessed with his penis. Yep. And I have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't think that's true. Really? No. What's this? Is this yours? 
No, that's uh, a, a, a thing I participated in, the Comedy Warriors. We, uh, we worked with a, uh, a group of uh, guys back from uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. And oh, good for you, man. And it was me and... Yeah. You got a... You got them all there. You got the Zach Galifianakis there, yeah. and uh, B.J. Novak, Novak. He's there, and you got Bob, uh, Bob Saget. Saget. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> I've known Bob for a long time. He's a great guy, isn't he? He is a great guy. Yeah, he, he taught is. him all the dirty stuff. I didn't teach him any of the dirty stuff. His dirty stuff is much dirtier than I than I do. I don't his do dirtier stuff. His dirty stuff's dirtier than the two of us trying to think of dirty right, stuff. Right. That's right. Like me actually performing a boiled swan on stage. <laughs> Wouldn't be as dirty as Bob Saget's act. Yes. Is that true about the Queen? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, the, the, she's a not... boiled swan. If she, you no, know, you don't boil it. That's what uh, my no, mother it's... did to, like, a, you know, a, a beef brisket and turned it into rubber bands. <laughs> you can't I don't think boil so much... a, It's like boiling a chicken. <laughs> it's disgusting. You've been to Britain, right? You've been to Britain. Yeah. You've seen what they do with food, yeah, right? <laughs> They boil everything. Yeah. Scotland, they fry everything. England, they boil everything. Yeah. That's the problem. That's why they can't get along. <laughs> it's like Oscar and Felix. <laughs> but I like Scotland more than I like England. Well, so do I. You know, don't yeah. you? I would hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, why, why, why though? Uh... I, 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 Edinburgh Festival, more, Edinburgh Festival. The Edinburgh I'll, Festival, yeah, yeah. and a more, you guys are more comfortable in your skin. And you heard it here first. <laughs> wait, 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 no. no. I don't, you don't agree? Well, I, I don't know. I, I, I think that there are some English people who are quite comfortable in their skin. There's a few of them. But that queen doesn't look like she's Well, see... <laughs> She's Her Majesty the Queen. She has it's all that swan that makes you tense. <laughs> she needs to have she needs to have some roughage <laughs> yeah, look, with that a couple, swan. A couple of edges. <laughs> your Majesty, would it kill you to have some Brussels sprouts with your swan? <laughs> Bollocks! <laughs> <laughs> uh, good times, yeah. So uh, you still on the road, Dan? Traveling yeah, around, doing your it thing? never ends. Ah, that's great. Do you still have your tour bus? I still have the tour bus. It's never going to fire in, is it? <laughs> no. You no, no, I, no, 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 I'm not. No. Uh, Do you my, like doing that, living on the bus with another guy? Well, I don't live with him. <laughs> no. A little bit, a little no, bit. No, I don't have that kind of a relationship that you've established. <laughs> But you, you guys sleep on the bus, you know, you... But I have a room, they have places. Come on. Yeah, but you know, you're driving through, you know, a long It's not like night. being in a prison camp. It's a bus. Yeah, it's a bus. It's a small, dark bus, and it gets cold out there on the plane. <laughs> wow. Wow. You had a tour bus. Is that what you did in the tour bus? <laughs> I rented your tour bus. That's <laughs> we gotta take a break. We'll be right back with Lucy Black. I'm here with uh, Lewis Black. He was just telling me he's going on a cruise. A cruise, everyone. And I'm not talking about, you know, up and down Santa Monica Boulevard. A real cruise. A real cruise. Where are you going? Tahiti. That's amazing. It is amazing. I, I never would have thought I wanted to go to Tahiti. I, I don't uh, have you down for Tahiti. I didn't think I mean, you'd be that guy. This, do I seem like that, oh, boy, I got to get bronzed and let's go? <laughs> well, I don't know what they do in Tahiti. I think it's a lot of uh, beach fun. It's beach fun, and then you swim, and when I swim... Uh, I have to take off my glasses. <laughs> oh, and, oh, oh, yes. yeah. And then because I have ear trouble, I got to put ear things in. So now, oh, oh, sexy think, time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now I'm waddling out there. Now you've got to figure. Uh, I can't see. I can't hear. I, and you can't smell underwater. I'm down to two senses. I'm, I'm Helen Keller. Oh come on now. I'm Helen oh, Keller. All right, all right, all right. All you right. go. Oh, what's that? A fish? You get literally. <laughs> Well, then, then why waste your time going to Tahiti? Just go to Santa Monica because and have free. a shower. Because yeah, it's, right. it's free. It's free? It's free? Well, because it's a... You'll love this. Right. It's, uh, it's, think, it's titled The Broadway Cruise. So all of these major Broadway stars are going and performing and singing. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do comedy, but little do they know, I'm going to sing. <laughs> I'm going to go through the whole Broadway canon. You, you're going to sing? Hello, 
dumb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, whoa. I'm just going to scare, save, save scare, the, scare the, 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 you know, the stuff out of them. That's what I'm going to do. What's I'm going to make them wish they never went to Broadway <laughs> ever. Why? Just, Why? just to torture them. Oh, come on now. The theater was never good to me. Oh. Was it good to you? Y yes. I made some excellent special friends in the theater. <laughs> I bet you, you took on the bus. <laughs> on the bus, in the theater, whatever. <laughs> hey, listen, we're out of time. No. <laughs> it wasn't a question. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you want to do an uh, awkward pause or um, meditation? Which one? I don't know meditation. Oh, meditation's a new one. We sit quietly and listen to Enya, and then sometimes somebody passes gas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ready? Yes. All right, let it go. is a very, very talented uh, young actress. She's in House of Lies, which is on Sundays on the Showtime Network. Take a look at this. <laughs> Dawn Olivieri! I made everything up. I no, have to you're what I said. fine. This will be fine. You don't need these. Really? I don't need these to talk to a lady. Oh, yeah. You look sensational. Thank you. I mean, really you. very elegant indeed. I love your shoes. Thank you. They are pretty. <laughs> You've got quite a sexy voice. This is for you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations on being House of Pies. That's one of the big shows on TV. That's a huge show, House of Pies. House of Pies. It's a big show. Now, uh, that's got Cheadle. Yep. And you got your uh, Kristen Bell. Yep. And you got your... Um, I'm just letting you do this. <laughs> Why? It's your show. Apple, apple pie, cheesecake. What else we got? Ben Ooh, Schwartz. House Don't of Pies. Him. Ben Schwartz, of course. Oh, he's the guy. He Have you ever been to his improv snow, yeah. snow pants show? Snow pants. That's funny. <laughs> he's a funny guy. He is very funny. Yeah, he is a funny guy. So, uh, have you ever been to House of Pies, though? I have not been there because I care about what I eat. <laughs> and House of Pies just seems really bad for you. Well, I'm sure right? they have kale pie there no, as well. No, they don't have kale pie. Are you a vegetarian? Not all the time, but I most see. of the time. I well, see. Only around vegetables? Yeah. What are we talking? <laughs> only around cows. Oh, right, so you don't eat meat, or you do eat... I eat meat when it's consciously collected. If that makes sense. So if anyone absent-mindedly... Yeah, uh, they're not paying attention to what they're doing. They're it's like, oh, look, a, a cow followed me in. We might as well eat it. You wouldn't eat that. No, I would not All eat right. that. I see. But if someone that. sets out to get meat, you, you're in. Yeah. Right. You got it. Okay. Meat pies or... Uh, have you ever been to Britain to eat meat pies Meat there? pies also seem really thrown together. Well, they are. You get the meat, yeah. you get the pies. Shazam! Yeah, yeah, that's against the... That's what I mean. That's have, have you, well, what, what do you eat then? I'm interested. Because well, you're in terrific shape, clearly. Today, it, I could have eaten out, but instead I, we made a little salad at home, and I made some, like, shallots, and I cooked a thing, and I just, you know, and I know where everything comes from, and it's all organic, and I'm one of those people. <laughs> So what I'm hearing is you had some shallots. I ate shallots. That's all I ate today. <laughs> what, what are shallots? They're uh... they're like onions. They're like onions and like another like two vegetables had a baby and then it was a shallot. I think that's technically meat if they can have babies. 
I ate meat today. <laughs> you ate baby veg. Named veggies. shallot. It was yeah, a small yeah, yeah. town named shallot. Do you have Do you have any animals? I do. What did you have? Yeah, I don't eat them though. No, that's no. Off well, it depends. I have. Well, that's true. Two Pomeranians. I would, if they behave continually how they've been behaving, we may eat them soon. <laughs> They bark a lot, <laughs> but they, I have two of Is them. a Pomeranian big or small? I don't, I'm not familiar. It depends with. how big you are. Because <laughs> if you were a very big person, it would be small. But if you were a very small person. All right, person, so if I was like, big dog. what if I was like ooh, about six, two and a half, 200 pounds, how, what size would it be? It would be smallish, on the small side. Right, so to me, it would be a small side dog. Oh, true, yeah. A small side dog. No, I didn't say side, side. dog like a side salad. <laughs> like. So you have two, that's it, two Pomeranians? No, yeah. no. Two Pomeranians. I have three parrots. I'm about five birds away from Heidi Fleiss. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Three parrots. I know. I don't know. It just happens. You get one, all of a sudden. I know so that's many what happens. Why did you get three parrots? Did, did, were you raised by parrots, or were you raised in? Well, parrots are like dinosaurs, so maybe we all were raised by parrots. Well, first of all, how does that make sense? Because <laughs> but dinosaurs didn't raise anybody. They were dead before anybody arrived. And anyway, we, parrots we are... don't know that. Maybe we were like small single-celled organisms that we were learning things as we were multiplying cells. <laughs> This okay, makes a lot of okay. Sense. I see where you're going. All right, so what traits do you think you've picked up from the dinosaur? Because I don't think I have at all. But well, maybe it wouldn't be that. Well, <laughs> Breathing would be one thing, maybe it would be a cool thing so? to pick up. They were good at it, so I think we, we could have learned that. I don't know that they were good at it, because whenever, every time I've seen a movie with a dinosaur in it, they're a always A movie like, with a dinosaur. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're really good at knowing what dinosaurs were like, right? And you're, how they were... You're really giving me a hard time about the dinosaur <laughs> thing. First of all, I didn't make Jurassic Park. Not the first one, anyway. I wish you had, because then I could be in the next one. That you, was a great movie. I liked Jurassic God, Park. God, I love that movie. Have you ever seen a fossilized piece of amber with something in it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because I go to that gem show that happens out in the desert with all those weirdo people. Do you? Really? Yeah, I love that place. We go there every year, buy so many rocks, and I just have, my house is full of rocks. Rocks and parakeets? So, yeah. It's a dangerous place. I'm turning it into where dinosaurs used to live. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. That doesn't uh, make any sense. How does that make sense? What does that mean? Well, if I, st well, the stuff on this Eight show has feathers? to make sense. I, you're right. You're right. Why would I be here? <laughs> Gotcha. I think you got me when I saw your sweater, actually. Nice. So, um, awkward pause or uh, meditation? Or you can do anything else you like. Um, I want to ride the horse. <laughs> So that's what I want to okay. do. Do you, are you... But I have to do side saddle because I'm in this, you know, fashion. I don't, I don't know that, I, I Can mean... Can we ride him? Is he rideable? Yeah, he's right. I mean, who rode you? Talk... He <laughs> says yes. <laughs> All right, then, ride the horse. Music for horse riders. Go on, Yeah, go. Yeah. All right, come on. Can I get on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you may have to... Right, uh... show tonight, I uh, carried Don Olivieri off stage. Uh, now, CBS would like me to point out it's actually dangerous to carry actresses around, <laughs> and you shouldn't do it unless you're trained. <laughs> I'm a uh -oh. expert. 